Joy Behar's dodgy behavior on The View has long been rumored, particularly after Meghan McCain's exit from the show. Did another former co-host just confirm Behar's behavior? Keep watching to find out. As McCain told Variety, ahead of the release of her memoir, Bad Republican, the final straw for her in the talk show came when she had a very public spat with Behar, live on air. McCain admitted, "...that was the day I decided." The shocking moment occurred when the outspoken commentator joked that Behar must have missed fighting with her while McCain was out on maternity leave. Only for Behar to respond by plainly saying that she hadn't missed her at all. McCain explained, "...I had postpartum anxiety. When I was back, I was really nervous. It was like starting TV all over again. I felt unsteady. I was trying to make a joke. If you watch the clip, her reaction is very sharp. Despite McCain crying and reportedly suffering a panic attack, no apology from Behar was forthcoming. Lisa Ling recently made her highly anticipated return to The View, and while promoting her guest spot, the veteran journalist reminisced about her original stint on the hit talk show. She was a regular contributor on The View from 1999 to 2002. During an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, she clarified that the show is a very different beast nowadays. You really have to express your opinion so vociferously on that show. And in the age of social media, you're just scrutinized." In fact, during her first day back, Ling was at the center of a debate after she argued that President Joe Biden should apologize to Americans for his infamous hot mic moment. What a stupid son of What amounted to a heated conversation on the show was written about in the tabloids, as though Ling was, quote, causing chaos. You know, as a mom to young kids, these are the people who should be setting examples for our kids. And it's like, yet more examples of men behaving badly. Ling was quick to point out that the women all get along great behind the scenes. However, she also noted that Behar criticized her during a commercial break for talking too much. So I, do, I do, I Did Trump apologize? No, but, for, it, but for it, Thankfully, Ling was better equipped to handle the nonstop chatter this time around than when she was 26 and fighting for her voice to be heard. Right? It is really difficult to get a, a word in edgewise. I, I did a little bit better this time. After her comments to Jimmy Kimmel were widely circulated by several different news organizations, Ling took to social media to clarify her position. She posted a short statement to Instagram alongside a screen grab of a People magazine article. She explained, "...Joy emailed me to say she didn't say I was talking too much, but rather that I was talking over them. This incident was reported by People and other outlets and infers that because I had a differing opinion from her that she shut me down. That wasn't the case, and I have a great relationship with Joy." Ling made it clear that her reticence to take on the role full-time once more has everything to do with social media and her own self-professed sensitive nature, and nothing to do with any of the ladies themselves. She concluded her Instagram message with, "...it takes balls to be on that show, and frankly, my skin is nowhere near being thick enough." Although Ling made it clear she hadn't actually disagreed with Behar that intensely, the current View co-host has made other people angry with her comments in the past. According to Page Six, in November 2021, Behar came under fire for claiming during an episode of the show that closeted LGBTQ plus people should come out to their families over the Thanksgiving break. Just come yeah. out. Yeah. See what happens. Online commentators took issue with Behar's attitude to something that, for many queer people, is an emotionally difficult and potentially even dangerous moment in their lives. As one person tweeted, "...many of our fellow community members face real threats to their lives if they come out to family. If you haven't been in this situation, don't give us advice." Behar is a committed and vocal ally of the queer community, receiving GLAAD's Excellence in Media Award in 2010 for her work on the short-lived Joy Behar show. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite talk show hosts are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.